Time to give y'all some of these props, these odds, and of course the over-unders for Saturday's NFL wildcard game. So let's hit the books with Eric Richter. He's the betting guy for the New York Post. Eric, what's going on, my man? Uh, let's get straight to the action because a lot of people got paid today. Uh, Texans, Browns, going to be a great one. I don't know why they're starting at 430 on a Saturday, but let's talk it. Who do you like? Texans plus two. Yeah, uh, so we got, you know, Cleveland, you know, they got Joe Flacco out there who's uh, 38 years old. He's uh, he's almost as old as you, BL. Uh, he's, you know, he's, thir he's out there. I, 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 I see a quarterback mismatch here more than anything. You're looking at C.J. Stroud. He's an absolute savage athlete. Um, and, you know, Joe Flacco, he's, he's kind of just bombing it down the field, and it's been working out for him. The last time these two teams played, Amari Cooper had over 200 yards receiving. If they can just stop Amari Cooper, they really should be able to win this game kind of easily. They're at home. You know, they have the they have a quarterback advantage. You know, I just – I don't – I see them as being able – to get out ahead here and you know it's gonna be a hard spot for Flacco to come back I like the underdog here it's kind of a theme for me here on wild card weekend I like the underdogs give me the Texans plus two I think they win outright here I don't know what say you BL I don't know man you can't call Joe Flacco Benjamin Button because my man been Benjamin balling uh five plus games or over 300 yards and we us old cats it's time for the older QBs to school the younger guys I love CJ Stroud but respect his elders on this one I'm going with the Cleveland Browns. We're talking about one of the best defenses in the NFL. And, of course, this dude, Miles Garrett, who is a scary bad dude, man. He's going to get after CJ and uh, 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 the Texans. I'm going Browns on this one, man. Uh, what else do you like about this game? Yeah, so I, I already teased it a little bit. Uh, our guy, CJ Stroud, he's you know, he, I like him to run uh, in this one. Yeah, I don't like their goal line backs. I don't like Damian Pierce, and I don't like Devin Singletary, especially inside the 10. I think that C.J. Stroud should uh, maybe get his legs moving here. He's a great athlete. And, uh, you know, I like him to rush for a touchdown there, plus 550. It's over on FanDuel. You know, the Cleveland Browns have allowed the fifth most rushing touchdowns in the NFL uh, to opposing quarterbacks. C.J. Stroud has three in his last nine games. That gives you, you know, about, you know, 30% chance that he runs for one. Yeah, it's way better than the plus 550 odds that you're getting. Plus, quarterback. Quarterbacks just see that the, t the tenacity to run a little bit more when the games matter the most, like this one does. First playoff game for Stroud. I think he gets one in the end zone. Could be RPO, could be on a scramble. Either way, give me the plus 500 for C.J. Stroud. Ooh, he said to put the 500 on that one. Yeah, I, I take that one as well. I think it'll come off of some sort of scramble in the red zone where he's you see his elusiveness and you see the way he's able to improvise, but I think he just gets out of the pocket and then he scrambles for 13, 8-yarder, something like that. To, and it's the Texans getting back in that game, man. Either way, C.J. Stroud is a baller, man. We're, we got a great – he's got a great future in this league. Let's switch it over to the last game. We got the Dolphins, Chiefs, plus 4.5. It's NFL scripted this one. Come on now. NFL scripted this game. So uh, how's this movie going to play out? Uh, movie's going to play out with Tyreek Hill. Yeah, Tyreek Hill back in Arrowhead. He's got a little revenge game going. You know, his last game, the last time these two teams played was on uh, Mutual Field. So I'm going to go with the Dolphins here outright. I'm going to have mm. them four and a half, but I think they win this one outright. The Dolphins are a good team when they play ahead. They need to get a they need to get a lead early. If they win the coin toss, take the ball. Stop deferring. Run the ball down the Chiefs' throats. Make their defense have to work. And if they can get Moster and A chain running, then it opens up Tyreek Hill. You know for a fact if they if they get out ahead, third quarter, Tyreek Hill takes one sixty five yards. It's going to be one of those games. I like the Dolphins here to run it down their throat in negative one degree temperatures with the wind chill. This is reminding us of uh, 07 against the Packers, BL. You can call them the greatest show on surf, but that water is going to freeze up when they get out there at Arrowhead Stadium. And it's cold like that. Look, man, I can't bet against Spags, man. Steve Spagnola, no matter what type of high-powered, flying high, whatever you want to call them type offenses, Steve Spagnola is built for the playoffs, so I see this Chiefs defense stepping up uh, against this Dolphins offense. But you know who else is going to have to step up? A Chiefs wide receiver that's not dating uh, Travis. Kel um, not tr that's not dating Taylor Swift. Uh, you like Justin Watson? He's got the over under on 1.5 receptions. What sayeth you? Uh, so Justin Watson is actually one of the most trusted receivers in Kansas City. I don't know if everyone else knows that, but Justin Watson is like one of the only guys who doesn't really drop the ball that much. <laughs> you know, uh, it's Rashi Rice, and I love Rashi Rice. I've been on Rashi Rice all year, fantasy teams, etc. Um, but what I really like is I like Justin Watson, especially in the playoffs. He plays a lot of slot, and I think that you know, even even though he 
kind of is a deep threat. He also is kind of underneath, and he's able to make the, the tough catches in, in coverage and in, in tight. So give me Justin Watson over one and a half receptions there. And You know, if you want a long shot, you know, on Bet365, which has limited availability, but Bet365, five receptions is 15 to one. He did it not that long ago in November. Um, you know, and he's, he's had at least four targets in every game in every game in uh, since November 21st. I think it, I think it was six of seven games for Justin Watson. But uh, yeah, give me Justin Watson there to have a to have a, a solid game. I think the Dolphins get out ahead, and then Mahomes is throwing the ball a little bit more than you'd expect, especially in a you know a, a nice cold affair there in Kansas City. I can't wait. It's gonna be so much fun. I'm thinking out of all the pass catchers that are playing in this game, you got Justin. What we call we talk about Justin Watson. See, that's yep. why that's why you're mastermind when it comes to this. You're, you're, you're breaking it down, and, you know, that's why the people got to listen to you, man. Tell the people where they can find you. Yeah, hit me up on Twitter, at E. Richter. I gave out a, a – with three R's at the end. Um, I gave out a prop on Twitter the other day, and, uh, you know, it was 360 to 1. It's all the way down to 150 to 1, and, you know, and climbing down, and there's a lot of people on it. So uh, hit me up on Twitter. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll interact with you. All right, find them. Thanks for hopping on, bro. Appreciate you.